area here you can see the different skulls from different animals which we have in our park can you tell me which kind of animal buffalo I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <It's> <laughs> buffalo so and that yes, from sir? there you can differentiate between the male and the female by looking the horns normally the male one they have got uh, big horns compared to the female so this these skulls you can see here for the male except this one for the female yeah so do you know these are the one of aggressive earning do you know how to do in case if they attack no no idea no if the area is flat like here we're supposed to lay down mm -hmm. you have to lay down mm -hmm. according to the nature of horns of the buffalo they're just bending behind like this way so if you lay down, it's not easy for them to take you To out. take you with the horns. Uh, Otherwise, I can use the gun to shoot your nail so as to scare. Yeah. Yeah, we use it just to scare, not to yeah, kill the animal. Yeah. yeah. Or if it's possible, you can climb the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you try to run, they will they're faster you. than you. Yeah. <laughs> so, and here you can see the sign of the water. Yeah. This is what of them. They look like a pig. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the friends of buffalo. Most of the time if you find the head of buffalo you can see also the right hook. Kumba and yeah. the water. Mm -hmm. They Kumba. prefer staying together because there is a relationship between the buffalo and the wattle, first for feeding facilitation. As you know, these buffalo they're just eating the tall grass and the water they're eating the short Hello. ones, uh -huh. the roots. But also, in security purpose, normally this one, this animal, they are very good in sighting. So they have able to see far away. In case of anything happening as a predator or enemy to them, they have a tendency to run away. So once they run, they're holding, they're running with their tails up so as to alert each other. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And the buffalo, they're poor in sighting. They are very good in smelling. Yeah. So if you look the stretch of the teeth of this animal, they are a little bit smooth because they use it to blind. They use to dig the roots. They use this teeth to dig on the ground so as to get the roots. And their teeth they used to blind it. Yeah. Question? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. This week ask the question. And uh, here we have this skulls for the giraffe. We have two different sex, the male and the female. So the male giraffe they have got a big false horns compared to the female yeah we call it false horns because when they are still alive they are covered by skin yeah yeah there is there is not a real horns the, the buffalo yeah so but also you can differentiate between the male and the female by looking this for the male girls they have got this knob at the female as you can see so much more than have yeah. a, no yeah. but when you saw them physically you can differentiate by looking the color of animal the male one they are shining in color compared to the female but also if you look on top of the first ones for the male they are covered by bones something like a round hard cover okay. yeah but the female one they are covered by hair because they never fight Ah, the yeah, female, the they fight, so during the fight they can lose some hairs on top of the horns. Yeah, okay. yeah. It is the same thing like a human being. When you get older, you can lose some hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's <was> yeah. totally. <laughs> But the female, they have a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this animal, they feed on the Tachet. leaves. They don't eat grass, no. just the leaves from the different species of trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You take a photo.